Hey everybody, today we are unboxing the awesome new Silka Chain Waxing System. Uh, this is really the first uh, system specifically designed just for hot melt chain waxing. Let's go ahead and take a look. So here we go. Little image of kind of the outside of the box. Um, open this tab and kind of flip it up. I don't have one of those handy overhead cameras that all the uh, influencer kids have these days, but you can kind of see what's in there. So we've got our uh, wax melter padded in bubble. Uh, it will come with the power cord of your country, uh, which is handy. Go ahead and remove our lid. The melter itself uh, protected in bubble. And then you've got the two pieces of the chain waxing stand also comes with a nice uh, that comes with a nice user manual uh, with all the details uh, for you so let's go ahead and take a look here so we get our plastic lid it's a high temperature polycarbonate lid has three vents um, <clears throat> in the front and then we have the melter itself away inside of the melter you will find your chain coupler and two m5 screws for assembling uh, the stand so let's go ahead and see how that works so we'll remove the plastic from our stand here and so you have the upper piece with the little cradle for your chain coupler and lower piece which has this nice pass through for your cord and then it has these kind of inverse feet uh, that locate with the feet on the machine so that everything becomes a nice system. The easiest way to go ahead and install this guy is to um, put it, yeah, goes this way, pop these screws open. take our nice Phillips uh, screwdriver, in this case out of a Silka HX1. We just start to screw the two pieces together. Uh, the screws here do protrude out the back side, so you know, I'm doing this on this little uh, desk we have here in our studio, but I would not do it on a piece of nice furniture. You may scratch at the back. So uh, there we go. Our a tower is assembled. You can see where the screws stick out slightly on the back. And then these feet match up with these feet on the bottom. So you can pass your power cord through the back like this. You locate the feet down in there. It sounds like we need to get this just a little bit tighter. And you're assembled. Uh, about as quick as it gets right there. For your chain coupler, just remove it from the bag and this works quite simply. It is a twisted stainless steel flex cable. The thread on the end that uh, you just run it around, thread it into the end uh, of the handle, spin it to screw it. It rests in the cradle just like that. So, why do you need a specific chain wax melter? A um, couple of things that will just make your life easier if you're doing this process. One, this machine is preset in Celsius to exactly the temperatures of Silka chain wax. So 75 degrees C for standard chain waxing. It can handle 85 degrees C for waxing with endurance chip or if you're waxing with the Silka Hot Wax X product. Um, and then it goes all the way up to 125C, which is the temperature for executing the strip chip uh, maneuver, as we would call it, um, if you are uh, strip chip stripping a factory chain in your wax. Why is this important? Well, the typical crock pot um, will go between 90 and 100C on low and around 150 degrees Celsius on high. And the challenge with the strip chip technology is we need around 120 to 125 to actually convert the oil 
uh, in the, the factory grease to wax, but we also uh, begin to burn the wax at about 135 to 140 degrees Celsius. So we're flying awfully close to the sun there, high on a crock pot will burn and damage your wax. Um, this one will not. To ensure that that's the case, we actually use a PID controller instead of a thermostatic controller. That gives you a plus or minus one degree Celsius temperature control. But what that also means, you know, thermostat is either all like full power on or full off. And so you can burn and over temp your wax with a thermostatic heater, um, even going up to a proper uh, temperature. So like if you say 75, it's going to crank full power into the heating element um, with a thermostat to, to get you up there. With this, it goes to 75 and stays at 75. The downside of PID, if you just go to 75 to melt your wax, it can take forever. So when you go to melt it, push it up to 100 uh, or 125, it will melt the wax much faster. There you have it. Silka's novel chain wax system with stand, chain coupler, uh, ventilated lid, and ultra-precise PID control.